Welcome back to episode 15 of Let's Build Twitter. Today's episode, we go ahead and move forward from just building our main landing page into making a modal that can actually be injected with any type of content that we want. That way we can mold it into a registration modal or maybe a login modal later on. And let's go ahead and hop into the code and see how we do that. At this point, I do wanna move forward and get a modal going. So this is probably going to be something that we can reuse. So let's go ahead and close up some things here. And here and let's go ahead and inside of our components let's make a new folder and we're going to call this modal so inside of here we'll have a shared modal application or a shared modal um, components we'll say new file we'll say modal.tsx like so and in here we'll say rfce rface and go ahead and do that and get rid of this. We'll go ahead and get rid of this part and export modal. And this is going to be a dot react dot FC for the time being react functional component colon react FC and we're good to go. So now this is also going to take a little bit of uh, working, but we will get it all good to go. So now inside here, once again, we're just going to have a div. I don't think this one will ever turn out to be styled, but we'll see. We'll have a class name equal to, and we'll just call this modal dash overlay. And then here we'll have one more div. We'll call this class name equal to modal dash container. And inside here, we will have our content. What we need to do now is we need to go ahead and actually make this look like a modal. To do that, what we'll go ahead and do is do one of these. So we need to, of course, import, and I call this uh, dot slash modal.css. And then we'll go ahead and make a new modal. So new file. I guess I should probably call it modal.css like this. I'll rename this to modal.css. Inside of modal.css, we need to do a couple things. First, we need to get the modal overlay. So dot modal dash overlay. And inside the modal overlay, we need to set the Z index to one. We need to say background color, and we're going to make it slightly darker. So we're gonna say RGBA. We're gonna say zero, zero, zero and 0 0.5 so it's going to be slightly darker the width is going to be 100 percent of the screen the height is going to be 100 percent of the screen the display will be flex so we'll just display things in the middle essentially is the goal for this one we're going to justify content center and we are going to align item center so whatever is inside of this box, this modal overlay will be centered. The next thing that we need to do is modal container. So this one again, is just going to be the size. At some point, maybe we do end up making this um, style component, but we'll see. For the time being, we're just gonna say width equal to 600 pixels because this is what Twitter does. The height is going to be 650 pixels because again, this is what Twitter does. The background will be uh, brighter, but I guess we don't need to do that. We're not gonna add the background. We are going to have display flex. We are going to have flex direction column. We're going to align contents uh, space between. And finally, we are going to have a border radius. I want to spell border right, border dash radius of 20 pixels. This is solely based off of what Twitter does. So now if we go ahead and come back into our home page, which is where we're going to be using this. And now instead of here, we put in a modal from our modal and save. Hopefully we should be able to see a dark screen and content. 
We also need to remember to set the background color. So that's why it's a little bit jank right now. So let's go ahead and set the background color really quick. So inside of our modal.tsx, we'll also import dot dot slash assets slash global dot CSS. And then we'll also say that this is BG um, white and save. And now if we take a look, still broken. Let me double check that I did global right and I did all of this right. So let's go to our assets and global.css dot bg color. I did the wrong thing. I should probably should have named this better, but we'll grab this again and we'll say bg color and save. And now we can see we have our pop up. Now that we have our basic pop up here, what we can actually do is go through and start making it so we can go back and forth between these pop ups and all of that good stuff. So the first thing that we need to go ahead and do is actually install material UI. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the terminal with control tilde and I'm going to make a new git bash and I'm going to just go ahead and CD into front end. And I'm going to go ahead and npm I and we need at material or at MUI slash icons dash material. We might also have to install um, emotion react and emotion styled. So I'm just going to go ahead and check the, the JSON in a second to make sure that these are installed. If they don't get them, we'll have to install them manually. So give it a second. Okay. So now what we can do is I'm going to check the package.json to see if it has those in. So we do in fact need to install two more things. So I'm going to go ahead and say npm i and we're going to say at emotion and slash react and at emotion slash styled. For whatever reason, it doesn't install these manually or automatically for us. And we do need these for the material UI styles. So now we should be good to go. Let's clear out of this. And now what I want to do is go ahead and make the first piece of our modal. Now what I want to do is go ahead and start working on the registration feature. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder inside of features and call this register. And now inside of here, I'm going to make a components folder. And inside of that components folder, I will go ahead and call this register modal dot TSX. Although I should probably make this a folder. So let's go ahead and components folder register modal. And now I can't see, make a new file. We're going to call this register modal dot TSX. And then inside of here, we'll say RFACE. And this is going to go ahead and be a React.FC. And we're going to export this at the top. So this is going to be our actual um, component that shows our register. So what we want to go ahead and do is first, we obviously need our div for the register. So go ahead and say class name, name equal to register dash modal. And I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this. I'm probably just going to make it 100% of the parent. So we'll see in a second. And then inside here, we're going to have a modal. Um, not for material UI. Go back. We want to install this. We want to grab this from our components. We'll have a modal with some things on the inside. So we're getting this error because it doesn't expect any children. So let's go ahead and fix that. So now inside of our modal.tsx, we're going to go ahead and make a type for it or an interface. So interface modal props. And inside here, we're just going to say children. And this is going to be a react dot react node like so. And then we can go ahead and pass this in as props. So we'll say modal 
props like so and then we'll say modal props although we might just have to say props colon modal props so this this part is going to be a little bit more patched together so to speak because i'm kind of winging it and kind of not winging it but let's go ahead and inside of modal.csx let's get rid of content and then inside here let's go ahead and say register modal and see what happens so now we have some content fingers crossed it goes where we want it to and refresh we see nothing that's not good because we need to render the props let's go ahead and render the props in here so let's say props dot children and now go ahead and take a look still no bueno this need to be an h1 Still no bueno. Let's try to change this to a JSX element and see if that works. Save. And this breaks everything. Oh, that's because we don't have an H1 in there or something. So register modal. Make it an H1. Let's try once again. Oh, I broke it. Although we passed it. So why is your problem? Modal. Home. Oh, whoops. We don't want that. We want register modal inside this one. No wonder why it wasn't showing anything. Because this needs to be register modal. Now, if we take a look. Hopefully. So now it's broken because it has no intrinsic attributes. I think I've been messing with the wrong thing. Um, that should be fine. Register modal. Oh, it's because we need to do this. And let's see. Voila. Finally, we have our register modal. So now at this point, this is a little bit scuffed for some reason. Let's see what's going on here. So our, mo our modal overlay is not 100% for some reason. Either that or something else is 100%. So this, look at our body. Body's fine. Root is fine. So I'm guessing it has to do with register modal maybe. So let's take a look at register modal. Yep. So we're going to need to go ahead and make the register modal 100%. So go ahead and do that. So make a new file. Register modal.css. And this is going to be chasing bugs for the time being. That's just how it's going to be. Register modal like this. And we'll say height 100%. And hopefully this will fix it. And then width 100%. And save. And let's see. We need to import it probably. Go ahead and import um, dot dot slash. And we want to, or actually dot slash register modal.css it always helps if you import the css and there we go so now we have a register modal popped up we're not going to worry about making a button that makes it come up or go away or anything like that we just wanted to make sure that we could have some specialized modal that we can kind of use uh specifically for our registration. Unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.